Good morning, everybody. From the fridge, I am grabbing myself one cup of cold coconut milk. Uh, any old coconut milk will do from the can. I uh, just put it in the fridge before because you want everything to be cold, but new dude to boot it. This morning we are making Tim Hortons ice caps. So I'm actually gonna make the vegan version of it with coconut milk. So you only need coconut milk, brown sugar, and vanilla extract. Um, the other thing you're gonna need is obviously coffee. I've already uh, done espresso, but you could also be using uh, instant coffee. I've pulled a double shot already, and you're gonna need two of those, so four shots in total. So I've pulled a double shot already, and I am going to pull myself the second double shot, so four shots in total. Again, I'll try to put the link in the description of um, how much to use if you're using instant coffee or regular coffee, but just flush, obviously, the uh, port filter turn it on, we're gonna pull a second double shot here. So um, for those of you that aren't from Canada, Tim Hortons is our biggest and probably most popular coffee shop, similar to Dunkin' Donuts in the States, but they have a very popular summer drink called uh, the Tim Hortons Ice Cap, and it is something that we all look forward to. But this morning, I want to make the vegan version. So uh, it takes about 25 seconds to pull your shot. When it's done, turn it off. You're gonna have about um, four ounces in total and um, into the blender, that's gonna be the first thing you're gonna put in is uh, the coffee you want, or the coffee and the, the coconut milk, because in the bottom you want all of the liquid first. So again, one cup of coconut milk. I'm making enough drinks for two. The four uh, shots, or four ounces of espresso goes in next. You're gonna wanna put in two tablespoons, so one per person of the brown sugar. You can use white sugar as well. I just find that brown sugar has that more caramely flavor because of the, um, the molasses flavor that it has. So two tablespoons of that. You can go less, you can go a little bit more if you like it sweeter, but I find one teaspoon or tablespoon per person is just enough. And then lastly, you're gonna need uh, one teaspoon of vanilla extract. If you're making one drink, again, half a teaspoon. But um, if you're using the, the tall bottled stuff, this stuff's pretty strong and good, the one I'm using. But if you're using the, um, the non-pure vanilla extract, you might want to use a little bit more just because it's not, as, uh, it's not as strong. So once you have all the ingredients in there, the last thing you're going to need is ice. Um, I have extra large ice cube trays, so I'm using a half a tray. But if you have a regular ice cube tray, uh, you're going to want to use an entire ice cube tray for two drinks. So half a tray per person. Um, again, these are double sized. Um, you can't tell in the video, but they're double sized ice cubes. And um, yeah, just put them in. So one full tray, half a tray per person. Um, when you're done, just lock it, turn it on to the ice crushing blend, if you have that, or the smoothie blend, and, uh, and puree it. It should turn on and off, on and off, on and off. You kind of want to pulse it, but uh, we'll come back and show you what it looks like when it's all pureed. So after it's been pureeing for about 20 seconds, this is what the consistency of it looks like. Um, it, it's exactly like a nice cap. Just take the lid off. It's gonna it's gonna be a, a little bit more difficult to uh, to put in a cup, so just be careful. But that's all it takes. So just pour it, add your favorite straw, enjoy it. Tim Hortons ice cap, straight from Canada. The Great White North, eh? If you like this video again, guys, give me a thumbs up, like, subscribe, and comment in the bottom. I always reply. Uh, let me know what you think, and if you wanna see anything else, put it in the comments below. Thanks again.